Lift up your hands. I promise you. Tell her when you're going to marry her. <laughs> you said what? 21st April 25th. I didn't hear you. 21st April. I stretch my hand to you. Receive the grace. Now. Be healed. You are free. You can... Um, greetings, good evening. My name is Peace Masego. I'm from Lombardy East, Johannesburg. Sitting next to me is Debucho Mashapu from Eden Vale, but she resides in, um, in Tembisa. Um, the reason we came to Charis Missionary Church to seek the man of God, we were looking for direction. We're seeking direction with regards to our lives. We're seeking direction with regards to her career, her development. Um, and I was also seeking direction with regards to my business initiatives. And also, uh, we also wanted to know the mind of God and um, the purposes of God with regards to our relationship. By, by the grace of God, we managed to see the man of God, Apostle Makananisa, uh, on, uh, on this one-on-one -on -one session. And um, he confirmed basically what was on our hearts and um, he confirmed um, God's mind or the will of God regarding our relationship and um, the fact that we need to take it to another level. He actually emphasized that it's just that I cannot elaborate on this platform, but he confirmed the mind of God. And another thing, um, and I must say our, our session with the man of God was brief understand that because he sort of touched on different areas on our lives but especially the important one regarding our matrimonial status and our business efforts and what God has put on our hearts as the desires of our hearts. For example, my partner that um, the grace of God, there is this grace upon her life with regards to uh, being in the transport industry, buses specifically. And uh, the man of God also charged on attacks coming from her family, which were things she sometimes narrated to me. And also myself as well, she spoke about my life, life, my attacks, which were in my, uh, uh, in my love life. And he also mentioned uh, an individual, which I cannot mention here, which, who is sort of the root of my problems. And he also mentioned as well that I should learn to be more trustful to my partner and I also have to be more open to her, understand, uh, in as far as my past is concerned, understand. And he also advised me to, 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 on how to treat her, understand, uh, going forward. And also for me not to keep on allowing my past to influence my relationship with my partner, understand. Uh, yeah, in brief, that is all. Mm. And also an attack like from my father's family, my father's side of the family, in, term of, in terms of us, you know, having having a text for which will lead us not to marry if i may put it like this yeah so it's like a generational curse on my father's side we're upbeat my brother we're enthusiastic we are zealous we are looking forward to a grateful future and we're looking forward to a future uh, that is uh, um, that is led by the spirit of god understand that uh, you know the word of god says it is not by might it is not by power but it is by his spirit and uh, hence I'm saying that we are, we are hopeful or enthusiastic of a bright future within the grace of God, within the purposes of God, within the will of God. I'm so relieved. And now I know the purpose of God about my life. I know what to do from now on. Yes, he just directed me to... I was in the dark, I think, I believe. Now I know what to do and I know I must be prayerful, trust in God with all my life. Yeah. Put God first. Let me just be simple. Put God first. Put God first. You know, you know the word of God says with God everything will be possible. 
you know, with God everything will be possible. You just have to make God your refuge and your fortress. Understand? Uh, you just have to make God your 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 covering. Understand? Uh, your your all in all. I know it's not an event; it's a process, and I know it's not easy. But you know, God looks at our hearts, and we come as we are to the Lord. So uh, His faithfulness, His mercy, His grace has spoken for me in table, and it will speak for you in Jesus' name.